A file in POSIX can be a typical file, such as a text document, a device, such as a keyboard or a screen, or a virtual device, such as a communications channel. A file descriptor is an integer that refers to a file. Each process has a set of file descriptors, called a file descriptor table, typically stored as an array. The file descriptor is typically an index into the file descriptor table. The file descriptor table holds all the information about each file. Each time a program opens a file, a file descriptor is allocated, and the information about the file is added to the file descriptor table. The information stored in the file descriptor table is operating system dependent. POSIX has three standard file descriptors. The operating system sets up every process to have these first three entries in the file descriptor table. Standard in, which is file descriptor 0, represents the keyboard device. Standard out, which is file descriptor 1, represents the screen. Standard error, which is file descriptor 2, represents the screen. Why do standard out and standard error both represent the screen? It is helpful to separate normal output and error messages. Use standard out for normal output and use standard error for error messages. IO redirection is a very powerful feature of POSIX. Redirection allows a user to change what file a file descriptor is using. For example, the cat utility reads from standard in, the keyboard, and writes output to standard out, the screen. If there's an error, cat writes the message to standard error. Using IO redirection allows a user to replace the keyboard with a file. The screen can also be replaced with a file. To redirect standard error, you have to specify its file descriptor, 2. Any of the file descriptors can be replaced at the same time. It does not know or care that standard in, standard out, or standard error have been replaced. A pipe is similar to redirection, changing where a process writes to or reads from. You can pipe the ls utility to the grep utility with the pipe character. A pipe creates a temporary virtual file. Anything that ls prints to the screen is sent to the virtual file. The grep command reads from the virtual file instead of the keyboard. This temporary virtual file is maintained by the operating system and lives only as long as both commands are running.